What up boys and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. So in this series, which you're probably aware of, uh, it's basically the results of me running an instance a hundred times and saving all the loot that's worth saving. And then I make these videos and I showcase to you guys how I run the dungeon, talk a bit about the potential loot that you can get. And at the end, we take a look at what I received and what the average gold per hour is from doing the dungeon. And in today's dungeon, we're doing RFD, one of the dungeons that's on my probably top five list of most run the dungeon. It's insane, the amount of runs that I've done. And I've also done a lot of episodes uh, of 100 runs from RFD, where I've received way above a million gold in value after 100 runs, and as low as 170,000 gold or something like that. So first of all, like uh, I'm going to show you guys the route, which is really straightforward, right? Uh, but the loot table, so there is RFD specific items that you can get in here, and those items are Corp Shroud, Storm Gale Fists, you can get the Manslayer, which is uh, really good. You can also get the Freezing Shard, the Quill Shooter, you can get the Bone Slasher, uh, you can get Death Set Vestment, Briar Treaders, and Fort Cast Boots. Maybe I've forgotten some, but those are like the main items you can get that are specific to RFD. Uh, it is important though to bring a tune that it's either a rogue or has the option to uh, to use uh, like a scroll of unlocking or any other profession that allows you to open up chests because there's a lot of chests in this dungeon. Here is the first possible chest spawn. It wasn't up right here, so that means it's going to be up uh, later on into the dungeon. And then on this one, you just want to click this uh, gong summon easy as that you kill the uh, spider boys and then you continue on you also get some shadow silk shadow silk was actually really good like back in the days because of the the shadow mask yeah, but sometimes they can be high now we have the regional auction house so not necessarily now though in this next room right here there you gotta be really careful about the chest spawns because there's usually two chest spawns inside this room sometimes there's only one though uh black duskwood staff that is a 32k market value item right uh, it's worth putting up on the auction house in terms of epic items there isn't really that many items worth looking out for but there is some green sets that you guys should look out for uh being uh sets like the uh blood woven blood forged salt stone tyrant so i'm going to show you some examples uh later on of from what I've uh, received from my 100 runs. Keep in mind, there's a lot of items that you guys probably want to keep that I'm vendoring because uh, the prices of my realm is kind of special being an arch and one with a million other gold farmers. But the route, it usually takes half an hour, like 30 minutes to do 10 runs. So it's really simple. You don't need to have a speed set to it in order to do this because you can easily do the dungeon cap of 10 laps an hour by just uh, doing it in, even on a slow death night. You'll still manage to do all of the runs uh, within um, an hour. So that's no biggie whatsoever. If you do have uh, any tune that you play on, these guys right here, you want to do a spell on them before you reach them in melee range because they always summon a skeleton. There's a pro tip if you want to speed run it to the Necrolites. Always attack him with a spell. There's not a chest spawn right here nothing of value but yeah to always attack these normally i don't loot when i do these runs now i'm doing like a bit of both i don't know why <laughs> uh, the chest can also spawn inside this hut right here if it wasn't in the previous one or it can spawn in this one right here and then there's a lot of chest spawns in huts even this uh this next hut around the corner it can also be in this one so a lot of chests, sometimes they're locked, so you do want to bring a rogue or any... Like, basically, if you guys have a tune that you typically run dungeons on, it's definitely worth picking up jewel crafting or inscription, so you have items that allows you to unlock the uh, the chests. Um, that was pretty much uh, the entire route. You just run back out. It has an exit strategy on this one, so you don't have to use any, uh, like, teleport in and out. And now we're going to look at the loot. Like, how much gold did I make? And did I get anything cool in these 100 runs? First of all, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has recently picked up the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide. The support has been insane. 
and the feedback even better. So I really do appreciate that, guys. Thank you all so much for the support on this. If you haven't picked it up yet, make sure you use the code DRAGONFLIGHT and you will get it for 50% off. And this will obviously include all of the future updates for life for free. There's people playing the game, having the book right now, that bought it two years ago, over two years ago, and they were still getting all of the free updates that I'm doing to the guide. So it's only a one-time purchase, lifetime of free updates. Uh, it's going to be linked down below in the description and pinned comments. Now we're going to take a look at the loot. But first, I have to vendor the trash. I didn't save the materials that I got from the 100 runs because it, it doesn't really... Uh, you're not going to make a lot of gold, right? Like five and six gold each. Uh, I did get another one of this stuff. So we're going to subtract 5k when we look at the total value because it's the price on my realm right now. I also got Stalvin Reaper. I got Boots of Avoidance and Scorpion Sting. Boots of Avoidance is the only epic that I received. But there's not really any good epics in RFD. The mobs are too low level. Uh, when it comes to RFD specific items, I was very unlucky on the amount. I really was. I got double corpse shroud. This bad boy is like 10% of the market value of my realm, but it's almost exactly on the reach and sales average. I got myself the quill shooter and the fault cast boots, which are horrible right now. I also got a bunch of salt stone items where the legs are really good, the chest not too bad, but he's like 44,000 gold each, right? Helmets, they always tend to sell, so I always keep them. And then just a bunch of different items. You have stuff like the jouster set, boots with 27k market value, only 3.8k on my realm, but I have no, like, not a single pair of these up on the auction house right now, so it's worth keeping him and posting him. There's nothing really fancy, uh, Jouster leggings again. Nothing really fancy in these items. What really saved me was patterns. Comfortable leather hat pattern at 100k. And then I got the rich purple silk shirt. This one, this is a good one. Market value of 585,000 gold, but it's only worth as much as someone is willing to pay for it. 120k on my realm. It has a reach in sales average of 73k. I've sold these for over 300,000 gold in the past. Never sold it for above 500k though. But all in all, if I use my macro, uh, I'm at 491,000 gold minus uh, the 5k. So uh, like 486, I guess, on this one. Which means like 48,000 gold in market value. Keep that in mind, in market value per hour, which is not bad. It wasn't a bad run at all. Now, the reason why like this value is lower than the market value of my rich purple silk shirt alone, right? So I'm not using market value uh, prices on this. I'm using the prices on my realm because I have some of the lowest prices uh, that you guys can expect to get because I play in a full pop. It's RP. I have a million people competing with me. So uh, th this number is going to be way more realistic than the, the market value number of the region. Uh, but yeah, not bad at all. That was pretty much it, though, for today's video. So if you guys got any suggestions whatsoever on what I should do next, then please let me know down below in the comment section. That's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified whenever I upload another video. Until tomorrow's video, though, bye-bye.